Hey guys, Hector Castillo, Poppy from GirlsChase.com. Now, I would like you guys to, from now on, refer to me as Poppy the Gray, for I am now ascended to another level of pussy sainthood, as you can see by my hair. I've aged many lifetimes over. And also, uh, in order to ordain myself as this new god of pussy, I would like to show you a magic trick. I have developed some, you know how people do uh, no nut November and they're not uh, coming and they're keeping their semen and they're gaining superpowers and psychic powers. It's true, a lot of good things can come from meditation and you can uh, gain control of the universe. But uh, I have also found a different way through the path of the pussy. And it's if you drown yourself in enough pussy, you will be imbued by their feminine energy and also gain psychic power. So, are you ready? I will make this entire board clean itself of white stuff instantly. It's a superpower that I gained. I need it, you know, because, yeah. Ready? Ah! <laughs> and it's done and it's clean. All uh, for the price of $9.99, you can also learn how to gain these psychic powers. Okay, so, uh, oh shit, you don't know what we're talking about. One second. Ha! Ah! Okay, now. Uh, Oh, I need Chuck. Nothing in my hand. Aha, Chuck. All right, let's get started. So, do women solve your life? Yes, actually, in a lot of ways, they solve uh, your life problems, your life issues. They make you happy and all you need is a good girl uh, to be there and raise your children and make you dinner and you'll be eternally happy. Obviously, that's a lie but it's not that much of a lie. So a lot of people in the self-improvement industry and self-development industry and pickup artists and seducers and red pills, whatever the fuck they're calling it now, a lot of them will advise you that, you know, a woman can't fill the hole in your heart and the void at the center of your being uh, and you need to find something else to fill that, you know, no matter how much pussy you get or even if you get married, you're not gonna be happy. Yeah, that's cool. And then they're going to prescribe to you some other solution. You have to become happy with yourself and accept yourself. And you need to uh, uh, go deep into who you are and find yourself a purpose and the meaning of your life and blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's all bullshit. Um, what they're attempting to do is philosophy and they're pretty darn garbage at it. Uh, the issue of eternal fulfillment Obviously, the answer is not women or pussy. Fucking duh. That should just be a basic assumption and basic knowledge. Uh, it shouldn't comprise in a person's entire teaching. And in fact, uh, I happen to want to teach the opposite today uh, because we're not talking about enlightenment. We're not talking about ultimate nirvana that you know cuts off desires so that you no longer have the mechanism by which to suffer. Like That's not what the fuck we're talking about here. I'm not gonna woo woo you with philosophy. Uh, that can be a different video and a different channel. Uh, but when it comes to general pleasure, because happy is a very strange word in, uh, in, in the English language, of course we're talking about pleasure. And the thing is, you're always gonna be chasing pleasure, whether it's your purpose, you know, if you're sitting there working on a book because that's what you love to do, it's your passion, you're really just chasing pleasure. You're chasing the dopamine release or the strange abstract feeling of satisfaction that comes with pursuing some grand dream. You're still chasing pleasure at the end of the day. And so if you want to live a normal life and you're not gonna be a monk and gain enlightenment, well, you don't have to be a monk, but if you're not going to be achieving the ultimate sense of satisfaction, you're gonna be looking for pleasure. And so women obviously seem to provide a lot of that available pleasure. The idea of getting pussy and being happy with a girlfriend or a lot of girlfriends or just a lot of sex and not having a girlfriend because that doesn't make you happy, whatever it is that you're looking for. If women have to deal with it, with your uh, problem solving technique, I would say they're actually quite reliable. Now, they're not the end all be all, like I said, but they're pretty darn good at it. And I would say that there's three things generally that if you have them down pretty well, you're gonna be happier than the average guy. So one of them is girls. I would say money and then um, health. Now this of course would spark a very big debate Money doesn't make you happy. I get it. We're not talking about ultimate satisfaction. What we're talking about is 
your day-to-day -day affairs, are they more free from stress? Or at least if there is stress, especially when you're dealing with girls and with money, more money, more problems. It's, it's not uh, an inaccurate statement. But if you have an abundance of women, or at least the availability to get them when you want them, or if you do have a cool girlfriend or a wife, you're going to not be suffering from the fucking burning sensation of not having gotten laid in months, uh, the testosterone drop that comes with that, the feeling of awkwardness and rejection and isolation. Yes, are you gonna have drama occasionally with a girlfriend? Sure, but if you pick a cool girl and you lead the relationship correctly, you don't have that much drama. And even if you do, it's not a big deal because you know you can replace her, but also you're pretty good at solving drama problems because you're good at what you do. When you have a firm handle on girls, whether it's relationships or pickup, like you know you can go out and with reasonable, uh, uh, like one or two weeks, you know, reasonable time frame you can get laid. That's a nice thing to have on your mind. Does it solve all your problems? No, but it's nicer than sitting there and having to jerk off to porn for a year, two years, many years, because you literally can't get laid, okay? Money. Money doesn't buy happiness. Most people who say this don't have money. And the people I know who say that money is not important, I watch their behaviors and money seems to be one of the most important things to them. Because when it involves money, they get very strange and very weird and they start acting in, in, in really erratic ways. And when they don't have money, they're really erratic too. And so a lot of people like to talk shit. Money doesn't matter, I don't care about money. But then as soon as money becomes involved, you see their entire character change. Money's important, it buys you food, it buys you the freedom to do what you want. I'm talking about financial independence. You don't have to be fucking filthy rich. We're talking about financial independence where you can make your own money when you want it and do pretty much what you would like to do. Maybe you can't fly in a private jet, but you can fly somewhere across the world if you want to take a vacation. Financial independence, that's pretty nice. Are there problems that come with it? Yes, but for the most part, to have the freedom that the money gives you, it's nice and it's, it provides you pleasures, you can buy pleasures, but also it takes away that, fuck, I can't afford my credit card payment this month. And as someone who still pays off his credit cards, I can tell you it's not a good feeling. And health, that one's pretty fucking easy. You're not suffering from any disease that's debilitating. Um, you're not gonna die tomorrow. I mean, you never know, you might, uh, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna come tomorrow at the, you know, the latest and it's gonna be just, you're dead. You're in good health. Um, you're not coughing up blood, you know, all your limbs are working correctly, right? I'm not saying that you can't be happy if you have bad health, but if you have girls, and I mean that in the general sense, pick up in relationships, whatever it is that you want, you have financial independence and you have your health, you're probably gonna be pretty happy, okay? You're not going to be plagued by the day-to-day -day bullshit that a lot of people are. Are you still gonna have to figure out what the meaning of life is and what you wanna do day-to-day? -day? Maybe you're really bored because you have everything. Sure, that's a whole nother set of problems and I'm not saying they don't exist. But most of you watching this don't have, maybe you have health, but you don't have these, or maybe you have girls, but you don't have health. I don't know, but most of you don't have all three. And if you don't have all three and you're gonna live a normal life and you're not gonna try and be some fucking saint uh, or find God in, in the top of a mountain, then I would say you wanna get these things handled. So this entire channel is dedicated to teaching you how to pick up girls, but also how to have healthy relationships and also how to think about women and think about yourself because you know, self-confidence and self-esteem obviously is important, but most of this channel is dedicated to just getting girls. So can women solve your life problems? In a lot of ways, yes. They can solve a lot of issues and so can money and so can health. So I would say that if you really don't have any direction in your life and you're like, oh, I don't know what to do, Focus on getting your health together, your girl situation right, and your money situation right, and you're gonna be overall more happy than you were watching this video right now where you don't have bitches, you don't have any cash, and your health's shit because you're 50 pounds overweight and all you do is sit home and jerk off and watch fucking anime. I don't know what it is you do, but you should get this shit together. Now, if you still are fucking all pretentious about this and you think I'm wrong, then you go ahead and tell me in the comments, do you have all these three things down? And would you say that you're happier now than you were when you didn't have these things. And if you don't have these things, then you can't tell me I'm wrong because just like every person on a YouTube fucking comment section who watches a video about some millionaire or watches, I've been watching Dan Bilzerian videos, people are like, oh, money doesn't make you happy, just vapid bitches and Look, he has a hedonistic treadmill that he's dealing with where his pleasures are kind of running dry, I get it. And he's talked about that because he's really self-aware. But for the most part, I would say he's happier than you. 
okay? It's because he has these things together pretty much. Does he still have issues? Of course, everyone does. It doesn't bring ultimate happiness. But if you don't have these three things, don't talk shit because you don't know shit. And because this channel is dedicated to this, mostly, if you don't think women can make you happy, then I first need to challenge you to go out and see if you can get girls. Have you slept with 10 girls, 20 girls, 30 girls? You don't have to sleep with 100 girls, but have you slept with 10 gorgeous women who just livened your fucking soul and you just felt amazing to be around them, their feminine energy, them sucking your dick, them being submissive, them being cute with you, teasing you, uh, but still worshiping you and loving to be around. When you have a life like that, where girls really, really respect you and lust after you, it changes your view on the world. So if you don't have this handled, Subscribe to this fucking channel, like the video, leave a comment telling me that you're gonna get better with girls, or if you're gonna challenge me, then go ahead and give me your best argument and I'll tear you to pieces. But watch this fucking channel, get good with girls, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna be happier than you were before because at least this problem is out of the way. It's not gonna solve everything, but it does solve a lot. Cool. Hector Castillo Poppy from girlschase.com. Hope you enjoyed the video and my magic tricks. And uh, like I said, like, subscribe, ring the bell, uh, buy all the shit in the description below. My next magic trick will be that all of the money in your bank account is going to go to mine. <laughs> and you're going to be poor and I'm going to be rich. I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, seriously, check out in the description below. We have a king of college book. It's my book that I wrote. It teaches you how to uh, make friends and deal with social circle games, which is about, you know, making yourself a good reputation and becoming popular and having the girls chase after you, all that fucking good shit. If you're looking for a more streamlined approach where you just go out and meet girls and then you take them on dates and try to sleep with them on the first date and maybe turn them into a girlfriend, we have another amazing product for you. It's called One Date. It's in the description below. It'll get you meeting girls, talking to them smoothly, coolly, getting them out on dates, getting them home, having sex with them, and having the whole package. So check that out. <laughs> so check that out in the description below. Now, uh, for my last magic trick, I'm going to just fucking disappear, okay? In three. Two, one. Love.